התורה פרק ד' הלוך י' ב' בזמן שאדם מזווין אין בדבר מאלו when a person looks into these ideas, the items הוא מעקי כל הברואים and he recognizes all of creation מלך, both angels, the gargal, the spheres, the autumn, a man, the yeritze brui, and the like. The yerech of Moshe shall accomplish Bochu, and he sees the wisdom of the Creator, Bochal Yitzurim, and all that is created, Bochal Abruim, and all that exists. Go down to the to the Pirush. Moise v'ahav ala mokrim. This causes him to have a love for Hashem. V'tipsomei nafshoi, and his soul will thirst. V'yich mebsoi, and his 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 flesh will yearn. Le'eloi v'amokrim baruchu, to love Hakadosh Baruch Hu. This is an apostle in Tehillim. Tzom alach nafshi, kom alach mebsoi. This is my 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 soul thirsts for you. My heart yearns for you. And it means that through this desire, he can reach the love of Hashem. V'yiro v'yivchad v'shiflusoyin v'dalusoyin He should fear and worry from his loneliness and his dalus. V'kalusoyin k'shiyach atzmoy He should worry about his own humble position and what he's lacking and how light he is when he uh, when he evaluates himself to la'acher le'echon me'aguf voiz ha'gdoyish ma'gdoyim to one of the holy uh, creations. This means the spheres and the sun and the stars, and even these are are reckoned like as nothing uh, with regard to the uh, malachim. That if not for Hakadosh Baruch Hu, that He is the reason for their very existence, they would not exist. They would not live. But it says in Eir Epeim Bikdoish of Liyamin that uh, in His in holy ones they do not believe in Shemayim Loizaku Be'Enov, nor is the heaven cl- uh, clear in their eyes. Meaning that even the holy Malachim uh, do not exist on their own, but only from the ability, the, crea- the ability of the Creator plants within them. The Cholsh came, and certainly la achas ma'atzuos atoyros and efodis menagulmim. You certainly to one of those pure uh, forms which are separate from the elements. Shulim neschav v'begodim klal. They have nothing to do with the elements. The Yimtz Atzmoi when he looks at himself, shuki kli moli busho. He's like a vessel that's full only of shame, klima, and embarrassment, rik, empty, v'choser, and lacking. And as Rebbe prayed at the end of his prayer, in Harei Anil Panecho, in Brochus 17a, I find myself like a vessel empty and full of embarrassment. And we see at the end of davening and Yom Kippur, uh, after the ten days of tshuva. In the in the so in the fast, we are that when we reach the attain the level of malochim, we say we are nothing. And this is the level of Moshe Rabbeinu who says v'nachnu mo. He says, "Who are we? What are we?" Because he comprehended everything, all of these items, on with clarity to their very depths. Therefore, he was humble because he recognized how, how insignificant he was. Knowing this. Mavarish tells us there's two objectives. One, that knowing the creation is a person wants to attain higher levels and to comprehend the desire of Hashem because you only can see God through God's actions and attributes. And as soon when he sees his greatness and how he's distant from him, his soul will thirst to be attached to the Creator and he will love him a great love and fear and awe and there's another be- uh, benefit that he'll know how insignificant he is when a person thinks he's significant he tends to stray there's another way to serve Hashem if you have its rights in Mikhail Oyes 
a look if a person will uh, contemplate that Hashem Yisbarach created him even though he doesn't need him. All of these that HaKadosh Baruch did with us from the very minute we were conceived and we, when we were born, gave us to live bread and water as the Chayus Alvo says, when a person contemplates this, it's enough to awaken his love. And the Yavetz adds, therefore, those who are, uh, those who comprehend Hashem, a uh, strong love from great uh, contemplation reaches a knowledge of Hashem through that which God gave him. 